Hi boys and girls. Uh, welcome to today's lesson on point of view. So the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and take a look at this picture. What do you see? Do you see an old woman or do you see a young lady? It all depends on how you look at the picture. Pause now and see if you can see both the old woman and the old lady. Then press play. All right, now let's look at this one. What do you see here? Now what happens when you turn your head? Do you realize what's going on here? Turn your head to the right? Hmm, it's an interesting point of view. How about this one? Is this man playing with a plane, with a toy, or is that a plane in the air? Can you tell? All of these represent interesting points of view. Today your learning target is I can identify basic points of view as first person, second person, or third person, and determine a narrator or speaker's point of view in a text. So we're going to look at all three types of point of view. First, let's talk about first person point of view. This is when the story is told by one of the characters. Some key words you can look for are I, me, or we. Now, be careful when you're doing this though, because that I, me, and we have to be outside of quotations because in any story, a character can say I in a sentence when they're talking about themselves. But here we're looking for I, me, and we outside of the dialogue. Here's a funny example. Handle the dragon, I'll handle the stairs. Oh, I'll find those stairs. I'll whip they butt too. That's right. Those stairs won't know which way they're going. Take drastic steps. Kick to the curb. Don't mess with me. I'm the stair master. I've mastered the stairs. I wish I had a step right here, right here, and now I'd step all over it. All right, as you noticed in that film, Donkey was using the word I, I, I over and over again because he was talking about himself. Um, and there's an example of first person, so the story, he was telling the story from his point of view. Next up, we're going to look at second person. In second person point of view, the narrator addresses the reader and includes them in the story. Keywords to look for are you or your. Once again, remember the you and your comes outside of the dialogue when you're looking at a story. Here's an example. Hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. It's like a chamois, it's like a towel, it's like a sponge. A regular towel doesn't work wet. This works wet or dry. This is for the house, the car, the boat. The RV. ShamWow holds 12 times its weight in liquid. Look at this. It just does the work. Why do you want to work twice as hard? Doesn't trip. Doesn't make a mess. You wring it out. You wash it in the washing machine. Made in Germany. You know the Germans always make good stuff. Here's some cola. Wine, coffee, cola, pet stains. Not only is the damage going to be on top. There's your mildew. That is going to smell. Look at this. Put on the spill. Turn it over. Without even putting any pressure, 50% of the cola right there. You following me, camera guy? The other 50%... The color starts to come up. No one the towel is going to do that. It acts like a vacuum. And look at this, virtually dry on the bottom. I can't live without it. I just love it. Oh, my gosh. I don't even buy paper towels anymore. If you're going to wash your cars or any kind of vehicle, you'd be out of your mind not to own one of these. All I can say is, Sham, wow. All right. As you could tell, that salesperson was including you in his story. He kept saying, you're going to love it. You need one of these, that sort of a thing. So that was for second person. The next type of point of view we're going to talk about is third person point of view. In third person point of view, the story is told by a narrator. So someone who's not in the story, where you saw Donkey was talking about himself in the story, this is told by someone outside of the story. Keywords to look for is they say he, she, or they, because they, the narrator themselves, is not part of the story. Here is a famous example.
From now on, the couple has but a single goal, keeping their egg alive. The hungry mother must return at once to the sea to eat, but before she leaves, she must entrust the egg to its father. Some, young couples perhaps, are too impulsive or rushed. And within moments, their affair comes to an end. They can only watch as the ice claims their egg and the life within it. This couple's partnership is now over. The long march in vain. With no reason to stay, they will wander back to the sea. All right, that was Morgan Freeman. He's usually a pretty good narrator voice in a lot of videos you've probably seen. Um, so he was the narrator. He was not part of the story. He was just telling you what was going on um, as from watching above. So the next thing I want you to do is I want you to pause this video in a second and use the link below and you are going to be taken to a website to watch a little video on point of view um, told by vocabulary. When you get back done, come back to this video and finish up. All right, now we're going to look at some examples. So I want you to get a piece of paper, just a plain piece of paper, and I want you to number it. I think it's one through eight. And you're going to go through this slideshow one at a time, and you're going to read these slides and write down whether you think they're first, second, or third person. I'll be walking around to check in with you as you're going along. Remember to look for your keywords. Go ahead and do this now. You can pause at each of the slides. All right, here's your final question. Please go ahead and have numbers one through nine checked by, my, by your teacher before moving on. Here's our final question. Once you've had yours checked, you can move on to it. It says, what point of view is enemy pie? How might this story change if it was told from a different point of view? Write a delicious response, providing evidence to you support your answer. So remember the books are over on the counter for enemy pie and you can Go ahead and write this and then have it checked. Remember, delicious response are five sentences. Restate the question, three pieces of proof, and then you can have your sprinkles at the end.